So if you all remember, I have this Jurassic Park stand-up game room solutions arcade cabinet. It's just shy of six feet tall. It does have a pedestal and you can customize the graphics to whatever you want. In the original video, I had the Aimtrack light gun because the Sindin light gun was not out yet. So in this video, we're gonna go ahead and hook up the Sindin light gun and show you my CoinOps arcade pack because it fits on a 256 gigabyte uh, SSD as well. So as I was mentioning, this computer only has about a 256 gigabyte SSD. By the time you add the uh, operating system, it really doesn't have all that much space. So what I went with is this CoinOps 2 official light gun pack. The one game it is missing is two games, is Carnival and Time Crisis. You definitely wanna make sure you add those two games. After you do that, I went ahead and added the Sega Model 2 and the Sega Model 3 pack because I really like Virtual Cop, House of the Dead, and the Lost World Jurassic Park game. You could take it a little further and I would go ahead and add Time Crisis 5 and Typing of the Dead as well, which I did uh, as well. And then the other game I would definitely consider is Blue Estate. And then there's a ton of other Wii games, PlayStation games, and Dreamcast games that I would also consider adding as well, but you're probably gonna get to your maximum space at about that point. So let's go ahead and check out the games I did get on here and check out the performance. So for the first set of games, we have Maximum Force slash Area 51. Let's go ahead and insert some tokens, press start. Let's go to Maximum Force, Mission 3, we skip. doors just come open on their own? Oh, whoops. All right, typing of the dead. This should also have House of the Dead on it as well. So you can go up close, you can, that thing's in the way. You go on the side. And then you go far away. And then you can always do gangster mode. So I know I'm not playing on my arcade machine here because I wanted to check out these packs. So I made a separate video checking out these packs, making sure that they worked for the Sin and Light Gun to see if I needed any additional scripts or anything. Accuracy. And as you see here, Virtual Cop 2 working just fine, House of the Dead, and then also, those are Sega Model 2, and then Sega Model 3, the last game we play is the Star Wars Trilogy game, working really great. So I'm now gonna transfer them from this computer over to that computer with all the I same configurations. Through. Leave the little Ewoks alone.
So this is the Game Room Solutions Stand Up Arcade Cabinet. This one is a on a pedestal. I'm six feet tall. This is just shy of six feet. And uh, it's a full size cabinet, 22 inch monitor. This marquee is not animated, it just has a backlight. It's just a static image. And uh, it's got some gun slots here. And I actually have three different guns. And so this video was primarily just to show you with the new Sindin light gun. Really cool light gun just to show you that it does work great on this application. If you want to see my other video, I already did a video with the aim track light gun. This one does have recoil, so it's pretty cool. The Sindin light gun, gun does come in recoil, but this particular model is not recoil. The other option you have is a Wii remote. Now note, with this option here and the aim track, you have to have a light bar. Do you guys see this? I'm going to pull it off really quick because it's not on there all the way. But you see this little thing dangling? That is your IR sensor. And so that tracks the mouse. And so um, it's really not a pain, a pain at all, it just mounts up there. But you will need an IR sensor and this, and it tracks with the IR sensor. So um, by getting the Sindin, you don't need this. You could just totally eliminate it. You don't need the hole up there. There's a little hole for the wire to go back. As far as system requirements, most of the pack I'm using is I'm using a CoinOps 2 pack. I've made videos on this before, but CoinOps is very user friendly. You can get it to boot up immediately when you boot your computer. So I can just turn on my cabinet and I'm in CoinOps. I went with the light gun build, but there's a lot of add on packs that I would get. There's a CoinOps 2 light gun pack. Get that. You probably want the Sega Model 2, Sega Model 3 pack because there's some great games in there. Because of those light system requirements, this is going to run on a lot of computers. What I have in here is a little Craigslist computer I built. I paid around $50 for it, and it's going to run all these games just fine. So, um, do I recommend the Sindin light gun with this cabinet? Yes, heck yeah. If you want an awesome cabinet, you see this one, Jurassic Park. And uh, Sindin is, is working really great. Um, the other thing is it's a mouse, so I can exit and I can browse the internet using this as, as my mouse. So, um, anyways, short video just to show. Want to try this cabinet out with the Sindin, show you the little coin ops build I threw on here, and uh, it's running really good. So, with all that said, don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. This is what happens when you have kids. <laughs>